What's up? It's your boy King J Wigs here today, and I'm gonna be reacting to um, the reason why I'm not buying Sonic Colors Ultimate. Now, Sonic has been quiet for quite a while now, and I've played a lot of Sonic games when I was little. Played uh, Sonic Colors, I mean, my fault, Sonic Generations. Sonic Rush, Sonic Rivals, and I don't even know. Yeah, that's all I think I played. But I've like other games, I've seen like videos on them. Like Unleash, I wish, bro. When Unleash came out, bro, I was asking my dad for that game so bad, bro. I'm thinking about um buying it though. It should be like ten dollars right now. And like playing it on my Xbox or something, but um, let's get right into it and see what he's talking about. Cause this Sonic Ultimate, when it when it launches, I'm doing a gameplay on that game. Like I really, really want to play that game and check it out. Cause Sonic Ultimate, bro. Like first of all, I never played Sonic Colors, and I never really. I think I watched uh, some gameplay on it, but like it looked like a decent game. It's really unleashed that I wish they um upgraded. But colors, um let's see what he's talking about. I'm still gonna cop. He can't really change my mind. But let's see just to see what he uh he's on about. Oh one second, one second, one second, sorry about that. Uh let me fix up Alright, I'm back. Um let me play the video and see. Hello everyone, I'm Frank of Knuckles Channel 3 and Knuckles, and welcome to, well, this little editorial that I have here, because, quite frankly, I'm a little worried about Sonic Colors Ultimate. Now, for Why those are who you worried? have been watching in Why? the past week, we've had E3, and throughout E3, we've been getting little bits and pieces of what Sonic Colors Ultimate would look like. And <sighs> concerning, one of the big things is, well, clearly, aside from the bloom, I'll get to that in a bit. One of the things that I've been noticing is the fact that apparently they're adjusting the difficulty in the game because you have this Tails save mode. Basically, if you fall down a pit or something, Tails will go down, pick you up, and put you right back on the stage so you can continue. And there are people going around saying that this is going to be a permanent addition to the game rather than a specific no, I do like difficulty or easy mode or whatever it is. So at what point if you make it easy, it's like... Actually matter in the game? Because first of all, if you get a lives token, it's a Tails icon that will give you two lives instead of one. And then on top of that, you also don't really restart the level when you fall into the pit or restart from a checkpoint. Now, I understand why this is done. This is done to make the game a bit more approachable by younger players, but the question is, does it ruin what the original had when you make the game even easier? What I'm hoping is that this is just the quote-unquote normal mode, and then hard mode would just be the original difficulty of the 2011 release, where lives are one per token, they're game overs, you don't have a tail save option, because honestly, I would prefer to have both. Sure, newer players can have the tail save mode. There should just be a be gameplay really option in the settings the for like difficulty, difficulty which I'm pretty sure they're gonna do. So Most games have difficulty it's just a matter of options. For someone who probably needed to understand the game a little bit more beats the game without any real effort. I don't know. I feel like difficulty in Sonic games has been more and more of a joke as of late because something that you would see as a hard no, mode. Forces was nasty. Bro, they literally just be walking through the stage. Like, I mean, running right through the stage, like, incredibly auto run. That is somewhat type. insulting to the player. That's just how I feel about it. I feel like keeping the original difficulty intact is necessary for a remaster. But if you want to have a more accessible mode, by all means, go for it. It's not going to hurt. I don't want this tail save feature to be stuck for every possible difficulty mode, if there are any, and I really hope there are. As for the visuals, I mentioned the bloom earlier, that's probably one topic that's been beaten to death at this point, but I will say I am on the side that's not really in favor of this. There are some outdoor areas such as Sweet Mountain, some areas of no, that map Resort, is hard. and a little bit of Planet Wisp from what I've seen. The outdoor areas use this effect to its advantage. Or, it's not really as noticeable as Asteroid Coaster indoor areas where the bloom is so excessive that it becomes distracting. 
though on the topic of Bloom, I will say that there is this part in Planet Wisp, which is kind of funny. It's this 2D chain, mm -hmm. but it shines, which also kind of begs the question, why wasn't that a 3D chain? I know it's in the background, but still, if this is a remaster, remaster the game. Make it look really good. The other small detail that I noticed, though it actually isn't small in the shot when you see the original game, is that the planet in Tropical Resort went missing for some reason. I don't know, I just found that to be kind of funny. Missing planet, shiny 2D chain. I feel like the bloom effect is just I'm there for the planet. sake of having it there to say, hey, we overhauled the graphics somehow. And they really did. Some areas are a little too dark, kind of lose a bit of detail, but we only know that from seeing YouTube videos. We won't really know until we see the game itself, but I have a feeling that you are going to lose some detail of the stages themselves because some areas are just way too dark. On top of that, the night sky thing that they got going on, or space, whatever, that's completely gone. You don't have that blue glow coming out of the background in Tropical Resorts, so it just makes it look a little unfinished. Now, I understand graphics aren't everything, but if you're going to remaster a game, wouldn't you want to improve everything about the graphics? Or if you just want to take the easy way, Increase the resolution, increase the frame rate, put in proper 16x9 widescreen as opposed to whatever the Wii had, and just call I it know a day. That. I think people I would feel like he's nitpicking, like, bro, it's like, by the visual presentation it's an old game that, that got, like, like okay, updated. Like why not? But it just seems like there were a few NHD. more cut, and then a few and, like, it looks fine made to the visual presentation to me. of the game, so... That's probably one of the bigger issues that I had with it. I would say the difficulty, really yeah, that's a bummer, but pretty sure it is is an option FPS for that to make it harder. Go to GameStop, go to Walmart, go to those websites, and you'll sure see most that games they do have listed 60 FPS and 4K for PlayStation and for Xbox. I'm assuming those are for the enhanced consoles. But nothing listed for the Switch, which has me to believe that this game is going to be presented at 30 FPS at 720p, docked and undocked. My only real evidence of that is that if you go to videos that cover Sonic Forces and Team Sonic Racing, especially how they perform and what resolution they're presented at, you can either check Digital Foundry or other sources on YouTube. You can find all of this information pretty fast, graphical comparisons, frame rate tests, and stuff like that. You can find out how previous releases have performed on the Switch, and then you can make an educated guess from there. That's why I'm saying... Unleash is ahead of its time. FPS, Bro, look at that nasty creative character like that forces, bro. Oh my gosh. To get running consistently. If I were to have my way, I would recommend, and I would highly recommend, a performance mode. Something that was used in, like, Panzer Dragoon's remake on Nintendo Switch, or even the recently released Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, which actually has three modes on the PS5. The really high quality, beautiful graphics mode that runs it at 30 FPS. My Ratchet the and Clank mode that runs it at 60 is FPS probably like the most graphics shown game. It was Spider Man. And tries to keep it at a consistent 60 FPS. And it looks really it was Spider Man Miles Morales that showcased like, the PS5's true um, capacity of like, like potential. And then, like, now Ratchet and Clank are like showing like the particle effects of how much. Things you can withhold inside the visual prowess of the system. You can also give them the 60 FPS if they want that high I'm gonna skip a little bit through this video because this guy, wow, it's almost done. But this guy really kind of wasted my time. Like, he's just nitpicking. Like, all I got was that so apparently the graphics is not that good as it should be, which it looks fine to me. And then another problem is that it's too easy, which I hope is not, but like it's not really a deal breaker, I still gotta check out the game. Sonic has been quiet for so long, like he found me have something. Most of them to me are underwhelming, and I think only one of them was like somewhat decent. I don't have high hopes for Sonic Colors Ultimate, and that kinda sucks to say. I feel like this could be a better product, but for it to be a better product, there are some things that really need to be taken into consideration. Hopefully, within the next two and a half months, we can see some more improvements, we can see a little bit more of the game, we can see improvements in Asteroid Coaster. But I just Hopefully peeped, like, this is that. so random for me to say. Like, I'm listening to this guy talking, like, bro, I'm sorry, whoever supports this guy, but, like, this guy is spewing out BS, like, I don't really agree with him. 
I partially do because of the tails thing, I guess. It's like. Like, bro. It's literally a Sonic game, bro. Like, relax. When last have you, have you seen something or wavy, like? I mean, it is a remake. Okay, so back to why I paused this, like. Like, I just peep. Like, this dude, Sonic, is really running on, like, a stream of light. Like, look, like, look, look at this, bro. This is, like, um, rainbow with that one rainbow course in Mario Kart. Like, bro, Sonic, what are you running on? You should be scared right now. Like, what is this? Like, there's a literal floor traveling with Sonic. Like, that doesn't make it no sense. I mean, it is a game, bro. When the yeah, I just, of he's talking, I'm just like looking at this and I'm like, what? Let me know how you feel about Sonic Colors Ultimate in the comment section down below. I know this is more of a negative video, but I need to be honest, I need to kind of get my opinions out there. Uh, I was, and, yeah, uh, we'll you know what, hey, so, I, I yeah, support that. At least you got your feelings out Sonic there, you know, if you don't like, you don't like what they're putting out there. More time to put together. Ultimate, um, after yeah, this guy, I ain't gonna lie, I should've just watched the trailer, cause this guy kinda like ruined the vibe, like, like I don't know, bro, but, shoot, like, comment, subscribe, cause, like, comment, subscribe, I hope you enjoyed the video, stay tuned for more King J Wigs, finna live, I was in a club, they see me in a pub anyway She saw me like a beacon, rather than a lie